It has not been a fun 60 minutes for me. I apologize, I'm a little sick. Just got back from Electric Forest. Got a little bit of the Wook flu, per se. Other than that, the last two videos I posted have been scheduled. This one's being filmed on the 4th of July. Today we're gonna be putting some anti-lag on the N54. Just got this thing detailed up. And while I was doing that, I dropped something down into the engine bay and I did not retrieve it. That is just a part of the car now. Show you that real quick. I'm honestly so frustrated right now, but look at that piece of shit mocking me right up in there, man. That is ridiculous. I took everything down here off and yeah, I didn't have to do any of that because I could see it straight from over here. And well, you guys saw it, it was right fucking there. And I hit it and it's fucking gone. I cannot find it. I'm giving the fuck up. Does that hurt? I don't understand it. I, I can't, I can't fucking fathom where it went. I'm honestly, I've never been so annoyed in my fucking life. Yeah, absolute bullshit. I don't know how that happened, but engine bay cleaned up. Did the headlights as well. And I did a little spray wax, no clay bar on this thing. This thing was actually in pretty decent condition. I'm gonna get all this stuff cleaned up. I'm gonna get cleaned up and let's get into MHD. Got the car on the charger. MHD right here, I'm running V9 currently. Stage two, don't have my intercooler on, so yeah, no stage two plus yet. Gonna go to the verbal option and we're gonna turn on the active anti-lag right there. And I think we're gonna go with just the 12 PSI right now. I don't wanna go too crazy until I get the intercooler. Once I put the intercooler on, I'll go stage two plus and I'll put the anti-lag up to 15 PSI. But in the meantime, my phone just turned off, but we're gonna stick with the 12 and let's write this tune. So stressful. I really hate flashing this car, but it's part of owning an N54, N55. Got the radio blasting on me right now, but it looks like this one might actually take a second. Come on, man, go faster. I hate this. And just like that, we should have anti-lag from a roll and from a dig, so... Let's give this thing 30 seconds, we'll start it up, and hopefully it starts back up. <laughs> it took about eight and a half minutes to write that, so... Yeah, normally when I reflash it only takes like 30 seconds, but I think it's because I've never had the anti-lag. We'll see how this goes. This is definitely going to make racing this thing a lot more fun. So, let's get it started back up. Moment of truth right here. Never had this happen to me before, but these lights are stuck on. Tried the spin the wheel method, nothing is working, and reading online that this sometimes happens and you have to like wait for it to go away, drive the car around the block, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, I'm not too sure if the anti-lag's gonna work with this because you need the traction control off. And think if the system thinks that the traction control and ABS and whatnot's faulty, I don't know if it's gonna work. All right, so I actually got the lights to go away. All I had to do was turn the car off, lock the doors, let it sit for a minute or so, came back to it, restarted it. Lights are gone, so pretty simple fix, thankfully. Uh, I know with this car, it could always be something bad. It could always be something simple. You never know. Now, I don't want you guys to get too excited. This isn't that super pop and bang anti-lag. This is just the basic build up some boost before you do a race or something, maybe do a dig. There's not gonna be any pops and bangs with this, but this should be pretty fun still. Ooh, that was just a little one right there. This is kind of crazy. the car warmed up now I think we are about ready to test this I'm gonna hold the volume down button here I'm gonna floor it okay oh shit that actually works wow that is nice oh my god hang on hang on we're gonna have to hit that again Let's try a little third gear.
mean, simply put, that makes the car feel NA and can do a pull. You don't have any more boost lag. I know I only have this set to 12 PSI. I'm sure when I set it to 15, I know it's only 3, S 3 PSI more. That'll probably still be a different animal, especially when I go to stage 2 plus. But I am thoroughly impressed with this so far. And I think we're going to have to do a dig. I think we're going to have to do a dig. And we just got the red light, so... Our coast is clear so far. We got a car behind us. What is that? It's a Subaru. I hate doing stuff like this in front of other car guys, but it's for the YouTube. I think I have to hold the brake to do it from a dig. It just started rolling on me. It's still pretty fast, I mean. First gear rips. It's got my heart pumping, to say the least. Like, MHD, I know I'm a year late on this, but this is awesome. This is actually awesome. Hits you in the gut every time, man. I really cannot believe these 335s. Yeah, I this is how I like to celebrate, man. A little bit of verbal too. It's not really working because I just reflashed my car. today I just want to be behind the wheel of old lemon Betsy right here this thing's got more problems than a math book this thing's got more issues than a thruple in therapy but you know what I love it at the end of the day all right we're gonna do another dig right here with this thing got a car behind us oh my god Fucking insane! Dude, we just spun him on an all-wheel drive. That definitely hit harder than a brake boost. I definitely will say that. That is way better than a brake boost. This thing is a big monster. Woo! I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. This is absolutely fucking awesome. Alright, we're going to have to give this thing a break for today, but make sure you subscribe because I do have an intercooler for this car and we're putting that on very soon. We're going to go to stage 2 plus, get an extra 2 pounds of boost or so out of this thing and go from there. Maybe we'll get this thing on E85 even because I'm every time I do something else to this car, I'm craving more and more. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and uh, let me know you're here. Leave a comment down below. I'd love to interact with you guys some more. Until next time, take care and happy fourth. Feeling like I had a boss, feeling like I had a baller, I can't complain.